Price elasticity is an important concept that is widely used when you're considering changing your price. Usually when we're talking about price elasticity, we actually mean price elasticity of demand. There are actually other price elasticity types, but for the sake of this discussion, when we are talking about price elasticity, will actually mean the price elasticity of demand. So let's have a look at the definition. So let's have a look at short definition. So price elasticity of demand shows us how the demand will change if you move the price. And it is measured in a such way that we want to see what will be the percentage change in the demand. In other words, in the quantity demanded by the customers, if we change the price by 1%. To estimate the price elasticity, we use a very simple formula. So we have the price elasticity calculated using the percentage change in price, which happened, and observing what as a reaction to this price change, we get change in demand, again expressed as percentage of what we had before the price curved. So let's have a look at the example that will help us understand this formula. So let's imagine that currently we are selling our product at the price of $10 and then the demand is 1000 units. Let's imagine that we have decided to decrease our price from 10 to 8 and due to this change, the customers decided to buy much more. So instead of buying 1000, they actually buy 2000 units. By decreasing the price by 2, we managed to generate a significant increase of demand. And if we present it as a percentage, this would mean that thanks to lowering the price by 20%, we increased the demand by 100. Since we have the percentage change both in the price and in the demand, we're able to calculate the price elasticity. So just as a reminder, the price elasticity is equal to the percentage change in the demand divided by the percentage change in price. Since we've got from the calculations above that the price change is minus 20% and the increase in demand in percentage is 100, then the elasticity is minus 5. Usually we will be omitting this minus in front of the elasticity. So usually when they're talking about the elasticity, they will tell you that the elasticity is 3 or 0 0.5. So we're going to use this convention as well. So in other words, we're going to skip the minus sign in front of the price elasticity. Now, as we said, the price elasticity will impact what you can do with the prices, whether it makes sense to increase them or not. And in order to do that, we will have a look at three different levels of price elasticity. So let's imagine that the price elasticity is equal to zero. This would suggest that the demand is highly inelastic. In other words, the demand does not react to the price changes. It's fixed. This obviously means that if you increase the price, the demand will not change. So you may be tempted to increase the price as much as you want. A very good example of such price inelasticity would be if you are suffering from some illness and there's just one cure to your illness that you can use. If the producer increases the price, you obviously have to pay it. But if he decreases the price, you obviously will not be taking more of this medicine because obviously this is defined by the doctor. You don't get more sick if the prices of the product changes. Now, we can also have a situation where the price elasticity is below one. In this situation, we say that demand is inelastic. And this actually means that demand is actually moving slower than in the change in price. In other words, the reaction of the demand is not as strong as the change in price. In this situation, it makes sense to increase the price. However, this has to be obviously calculated depending on how strong it is. In most cases, you can opt for increasing the price. And finally, we have a situation where the price elasticity is above one. We say that demand in this situation is elastic. In short, we can say that the reaction of the demand is much stronger than the change in price. This is the situation where you actually can consider decreasing the price because you will see an increase in the demand. So the people will be buying more. So this is very similar to what we did in our example. However, it is not always true that it makes sense. It really depends on the margins you make on the product and how strong the reaction is. So you can consider here decrease in price. However, bear in mind that you have to do additional calculation to make sure that this will actually improve your profits. From this, we just know that there will be a bigger demand, but it does not necessarily mean that you will have higher profits. So that's in short when it comes to price elasticity. As always, if you have any questions regarding that, please let me know by posting those questions into the discussion field or reach me directly in Udemy.